I've written a blog post there this morning about Twitter and Fastway Couriers. The company in Ireland that runs Fastway Couriers is called Parcel Connect and they trade in Ireland as Fastway Couriers Ireland and they went to the High Court there to seek an order from the High Court ordering Twitter to release details about a parody account, an account that basically takes the mick of Fastway Couriers. The, the co account was set up on Twitter, I think at some stage in 2019, and it's had a number of different names down through the few months since 2019. It's been called Fast Wank Couriers, and it's been cost, or it's been called at the moment, Fartways Deliveries Ireland. But in any event, the company, Fastway Couriers company, Parcel Connect, took legal proceedings to the High Court and a decision was handed down there on the 5th of June 2020 from the High Court, ordering Twitter to disclose the identity of the individual or individuals who were controlling that account. Previously to this, Twitter had suspended the account but had looked into the activity and decided in their wisdom that the account wasn't in breach of the terms of service of Twitter and therefore reinstated it. Now, the argument by the company was that their intellectual property was being damaged because it was using the Fastway Couriers logo and it was also using a name very, very similar to Fastway Couriers. It also used abusive language and it made disparaging remarks about various locations in Ireland and it also said that Fastway Courier drivers would are were incompetent and unprofessional and we failed to deliver your promises and they would deliver um, or eat packages the drivers eat the packages and um, send them over the rainbow all sorts of disparaging stuff but in any event the high court did accept that notwithstanding the fact that the ordinary person would not be or could not be confused about this account being the real Fastway Couriers, nevertheless, it did accept, the judge did accept that there was a strong prima facie case of damage and loss to the business by reason of the abuse of language, foul language, and the association with that and those tweets, um, disparaging, insulting tweets, which, as I say, attacked the drivers and attacked basically the reputation of the company and various parts of the co uh, country, but basically did accept that Twitter were entitled to what's called a Norwich or Norwich Pharmacal order, which allows Fastway couriers to take legal proceedings against the operators of the account, and it ordered the um, Twitter to disclose the identity of the operators. It's an interesting case. It just goes to show you that you can hide behind various handles on Twitter or Facebook or anywhere else, but it is possible to unravel those accounts and to peel back the layers if a company is determined enough and they will be determined enough. If their reputation is at risk, they will be determined enough to go to court and get an order like a Norwich Pharmacal order in order to find out who's behind it and take the necessary proceedings in order to protect the reputation and so on and so forth. As I say, I've written a blog post on it. It's um, on my website, businessandlegal.ie, and the full decision there is in the blog post. It's Parcel Connect versus Twitter International Company 2020, and the decision was handed down there in June of 2020. Hope you find this video useful. If you do, you might give it a thumbs up down below.